What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So Tanjiro with his fire dragon and the blood exploding sword thing. <laughs> Pretty cool. So let's go, I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So his face is in three quarter pose, right? So we've got two eyes and they're both closed. Dragon's here on the right, so we'll just start with Tanjiro over here. And we're just gonna, gonna start with one of his closed eyes just on the right. So we'll just curve a line there. We gotta make this look like eyelashes, so we're gonna like open it up. You see, you just wanna make it like kind of thicker. And like some spikes on it, right? And you wanna like color that dark. Roughly like eyelashes with a closed eye, right? So then above that we have his eyebrow, right? So we just got this tick line like this. So it changes direction a couple of times. It's real arched. We gotta thicken it up, so we gotta go on around the outside and it gets thinner as we go. Okay, so you wanna just color this black. Right. And then we have some eyelid lines just here for his closed eye. And then some sort of stress lines sort of around the bottom cause he's fighting. So he's kind of been hit a few times, you know. So we got a frown line just going up this way, like a crinkly sort of frown line going that way. And then we've one on the other side. So remember his head is in three quarter pose. So that means like this eye on this side is smaller, right? It's turned away from us, we can't see it as well. The nose comes down from this eyebrow line, right? So we got like a diagonal line here. And then there's like some gaps. You could do a full line if you wanted, but curves around down like so. And they tend to do like a little shadow and like a thicker line if you want it. And then his nostril just there. And then we have some hatching lines that just come down the bridge of the nose like so. His other eyelash line just curves around here. Kind of like flicks out a little bit and then we thicken it up and you'll notice like this one is smaller than the other one see and that's what gives the illusion that it's further away and his eyebrow on this side goes like right up vertical right so it goes up because it's like three quarter it goes up that way and then we make it thicker darker goes off the side of his head there eyelash line small one and some little dots and dashes just around the eye there his mouth then so just below the nose here it's where it starts curves back down looks like his mouth is closed but we'll open it up to there and then we have that triangle shadow that demon slayer characters have so tanjiro in this fight he's got like some sweat dotted around his face in places and there is some blood coming down from his mouth just there he also has scars so he's got like a scar it's like a cut or a scar, like a double one from fighting that bird guy. Hentengu's bird form, the wings and claws right on his face. So his chin, we can't see, right? Cause it's cut off by his shoulder. So we can just see his shoulder bumping down here. 
Okay, and it is a bumpy line because his the fabric of his clothing it have all these bumps and folds on them. His face then comes up from the side here, so we just go around his nose in towards the corner of his eye. And then we come out from the eye and around his forehead. So we just go around the eyebrow and up this way. So that's the shape for the side of his face. So his hairline then comes across here. So we've got these zigzag lines, right? So we've got kind of this kind of zigzag pattern. Just comes down like so. Just see a little bit of his ear in this side. And another hair spike coming down here. And like some ear lines and stuff here. And the back of his ear comes down here. And we can't see most of it because it's just like the collar of his shirt. Just goes this way. And like his earring piercing there. So then he has his scar, which has sort of changed shape now. So it goes spiking around like this, right? These hooks. Like that. And then we got like some veins coming down from his forehead, just here. So the rest of his hair, right? So say coming out from his eyebrow and his eye, go say here, right? So we got like some spikes that stick out this way. start us off and then it goes typical tanjiro hair the whole way around to the back just spike there we got a bit of a bump here and then the rest of the bumps sort of follow the flow to the back of his head so we're flowing back this way right Keep going. Another one. And then this one joins that one. from here and that seems to be different so this one comes like down like that but we have like another one in behind here and then it hooks around here and then we got another one on his neck Like some more just inside here so we go up and to there so Tanjiro has all these red and black shapes that make his hair sort of the characteristic color that it is so we got to add those right so we go just around the inside so these would be black right and the outsides will be his like reddy brown hair color
think that's it. Right, so his arm and his back and stuff all go down this way. Some of the dragon, I think, covers his back, but we'll get it in anyway. So, say like the color of his shirt, right, or his uniform. We'll go this way and then down. Bring it a bit further. And then we have the white parts. Just there, those white lines. And then his shoulder bumps down this way. Neck flows down here. And eventually goes into like his belt or something here. I think we got like a belt going this way. So then his arm coming across here. So this is like his shoulder. So it goes like down that way. And we've got like some bumping lines like this. And then we eventually go up towards the elbow. And we join the shoulder back here again. all these fold lines and we just have his stomach area here and we got some like fold lines there like that right and he's got like a big stain of blood on his back so like it's just this blob Coming around here, and we can see some of the white of the what's written on his back. So you can't see all of it, but you just see some. So then we can see like some of his fingers just coming back towards his face and his earring. Actually, we can see some earring dangling off here. And then the rest of his forearm just bumping itself back there. And then some knuckles. That way. His sword, his red sword comes back here, but like we've got like dragon and stuff covering a bit of it. So. We'll do the dragon and then if we have room we'll fit we'll draw in some of the sword right so that dragon's head it's kind of like the water one that he had but this is it's kind of like red so just using a different image for this now it's kind of glowing right so Let's see, so we've got like lots of jaggedy sort of lines, right? So starting here, right? Carving, and this is like the dragon's kind of face, and it's got all this fire and stuff. So we'll come down to his chin. And you can do this kind of rough, it doesn't have to be like perfect. Right? This is like his chin, and then his like top mouth, right? So and like teeth in here are just done with like liquid fire. So like, mouth this way. So the mouth like comes across here. And this is like teeth. And then we got like zigzag lines, all this goes behind Tanjiro there. It might come out the other side. It's like a big whisker. So it goes right. And then like the side of his head. 
So this will all be like flame now, and it's drawn very crazily, you know, sort of fast and stuff. I think it'll just go off my page up there. So then the other side of the head, all this flame. Okay, so that's the general shape for it. And there is like lots of stuff coming off, but we do say like an eye, right? There's a general eye shape here. Like so. And then we have all these patterns and stuff drawn inside, like lots of extra sort of lines, like, like this kind of thing, like a nostril maybe. Yeah, we'll just give it the sort of illusion that it's like a dragon. And these will sort of be all different colors of red and yellow and purple and stuff. spiky it seems to be the aim of the game And then of course there's like lots of like fire just like hanging around out here and like another sort of fiery whisker or something going off this way. Of course, you can do this any way you want. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. All right, and then of course, coloring. This will all be like colored if you wanted to, or you could shade it, you know. It's up to you. But I think that orange and sort of red purpley glow would work best. Right, hope it's helpful. Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Hope it's helpful, see you in the next one, bye. Hey guys, I'm back quickly because I forgot to add like a little bit of Tanjiro's sword just coming out from behind his back here. So I'm gonna do it with a ruler. The page is not stuck down like it usually is because I just forgot I picked it up. Uh, so I won't tape it down. But his sword just like comes back like this way yeah, and it's like turned to the side so and you can just see it down the middle here like a line down the middle so it's like like you could fit in more of that if you wanted with it going that way 
you just fit in his sword whatever way you can and you can add like debris like fire and stuff in here coming off from the sword if you want it you know like maybe inside here as well well no that's the dragon's head is it uh right but generally just a bit of his sword there that's it now i'm done